Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. This is Summer NAM 2017 in Nashville. We're in the Universal Audio booth with our friend James Santiago. Good to see you, man. Pleasure to see you again, man. All right. So you guys got something really cool that you're surprising a lot of people with. Yeah, this has been the secret project for a few years for us. This is Aux, the amp top box. And for us, a lot of it's our guitar players. It was for us the ultimate box that lets you get all the tones anywhere, anytime, playing, recording, practicing. It just does all of that. And so I guess after that's like, well, how do you do all of that? Um, the box basically looks like, you know, I, I like old cool hi fi's and old tube amps. So that's kind of what look, it looks like here. So all you got to do to get to the aux stuff, it starts with the speaker output of your amp. So. And that's based on like a lot of people see these attenuator kind of things. So this is a reactive attenuator. So we designed a box that literally looks like a guitar speaker. So the impedance is moving around with the amp. So all the dynamics and the feel of the amp stay. And this looks like the speaker to the amp. So at any one time, this brown section here is our analog world. So we can put, you know, a little bit of the sound of the amp back into the speaker. So step attenuation. You want to just practice a little bit with the amp on 10? Great. And you have five levels of that, finely tuned. And then the other half of that, the big part, is this silver section. That is a temporary, it's a sneak preview. So, little labeling on the side for rig. But what this does is jumps into our modeling side, and we decided to do this thing where we've sort of left all of the regular sort of speaker models behind. So we did a new technology called dynamic speaker modeling and dynamic room modeling. So each one of these six Little lines here represent six different rigs, full studio setups. So we're talking, you pull up the cab, you pull up a 67 and a 121, you pull up the room, how the room has been dampened with, with gobos, carpeting, you can change all of that. And when you pull up room mics with the close mics, you actually hear the cabinet and the four speakers of a four tone phasing against the drum set. So like, because that's the one thing we miss in headphones or in close monitors is none of us, well most people don't, have a giant tracking room like the old days. Like when you go to an Ocean Way or an Olympic Studios and get those big rock riffs, the speaker is part of it, but it's the whole environment the cabinet sits in. So we did new speaker modeling and also does the cone cry. Because when you have a Marshall on 10, you hit notes and these sub-octave notes come out and the cabinet has a note. We actually did all of that. And this, it's, it's one of the things that nobody's ever tried to do before because well we're, well, we're crazy to do it. But we wanted this thing, like, we really want this amp to feel and sound like it's at the volume it is and the speaker, you know, gets hot. And the speaker actually gets warm and it starts sounding different and the notes come out. And then, again, we have this little iPad app. So you'll notice there's no readouts. There's nothing on the box. You Wi-Fi into the box. The box does all the processing. And if you want to be in the studio environment, grab an iPad, Wi-Fi in, and now you can see your console, mic one, mic two, close mics. You can get the room, you can decide to dampen the room. Maybe you want it liver, get rid of the carpet, get rid of the isolated walls around the drum set. It gets liver, it bounces off stuff more. You can put ribbons on the room, pairs of condensers, ribbon mics. You can change the cabinet. We want to go to a 412. Tweeds, black faces, vintage silver bulldog stuff. It's all there. And then simple speaker drive there that literally just tells the speaker how hard you're pummeling it. So it's like if you want the speaker to be a little tighter, more like it's brand new and not been played for six hours, beat the death, just pull that knob back and it's tighter, it's punchier, there's no breakup. Push it harder, it's literally like that 100 watt amp is hitting that speaker at 100 watts or 150 if you've got a Marshall on 10 because they're awesomely loud. So that's sort of the, the quick part of it in that really you could just have a head or the amp and still hit a cabinet but then put on headphones go into a home studio setup and get the feel of that amp really getting close because i think in a perfect world for all of us distortion to be i, I just want a 100 watt marshall on 10. that's like the ultimate distortion pedal and now you can do it anywhere you know Man, it's so exciting. I actually had an opportunity recently to hear a prototype of this on some amplifiers up in our studios at Sweetwater. It is absolutely astounding. I'm so excited. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a, I think a lot of it has, has a feel thing. I think once you feel, like, especially if it's your amp or you've played it, an amp that you're used to, you can tell when it's off. And then you can also tell when it's in an environment. I mean, there's something great about being in a room with an amp and hearing it bounce off the walls and having that air around you. It just gives everything a width that most you know, session guys are used to a mic on a speaker and it being real dry in your headphones, but that's not a real fun sound. It's not the sound of rock, you know? I, and if, even if I'm practicing, I love, I'd love to practice with a 50-watt Marshall on 7 and put on some headphones and 
You know, you get that feeling that the response back, it's, I, it's I, nothing, there's nothing that feels better than playing a great two map. And because I'm so in love with my old amp still, but I also love new technology and trying to marry those two things without losing either one of the two benefits or it's a difficult thing to do. But hopefully this crazy little box does most of what, uh, what I said. Hopefully everyone plays and feels the same way. Awesome. Well, grab a Les Paul. Let's hear this thing. James, thanks so much, man. This is an incredible piece of gear. I can't wait to get into my studio and check it out. Oh, thank you for coming by, Mitch. Not bad. My pleasure. And thank you for joining me at Summer Nam 2017. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater.